Hello, my name is Mr. Trickster, and thank you for watching. Today we're going to be going over a very uh, simple and hopefully quick uh, item with with your mod that maybe some of your players have been asking for. <clears throat> That's going to be how do I spawn it in through admin commands. So in order to get this information for them, like anything else, if, you, if you've if you ever been an admin and you want to spawn in, say, um, the flak pants, you don't just type GFI flak pants. It doesn't work. You have to use the um, a little bit of the name from the blueprint path. So you'd, you would have to type GFI metal pants so that it comes up. So... The way that we're going to do this is we're going to go, it's pretty easy to figure out, but we're also going to test it. So when you go to your primal item structure, you see the name that you have created. You always want to put something that's very, like a unique name in your primal item structure. That way it doesn't, it's not too generic and, and it's easily found using GFI. So basically... Our name here says primal item structure. That's all of them. So we don't want to use that. Then it says storage box underscore ultra mega. So what we're going to do is we're going to press play. We're going to get into our dev kit, uh, into actually playing here. We're going to hit the tilde key to bring up our command bar at the bottom. And we're actually going to test out our command line. Uh, so cheat underscore GFI. GFI is an approximation. It's going to attempt to grab something based off of the information you give it. So GFI, and we said it's storage box. Now see, it's already starting to pop up and and give you storage box underscore small, storage box underscore large, but we don't want either of those. We want storage box underscore ultra mega, if you type it correctly. And then you put one for the the amount that you want. We don't need a quality, so that's going to be zero. And we don't want a blueprint, so zero is for the item. One would be for the blueprint. So you enter that code, press enter, and you can see it on the left there. But I'll show you also in my inventory that we got one spawned in. So we have that. Now, the tricky thing here is that's just the GFI code. You can hand that out to your players once you've given, once you've um, published your mod. You hand it out to your players. You can put it in the description, which is what I would recommend, so that they have it and they can willy nilly spawn it in across their server. Um, but how do they get the blueprint path so they can add it to things like um, your your drops? So if you want to add it into, like, say, a green drop or a blue drop, you would. Um, need the blueprint path so we're going to get that by hitting shift f1 and you're going to go down here to your output log click on it and right up here you see where it already showed that we spawned it in we spawned in our our storage box now it gives you an approximation here so what we're going to do is we know how to find it now shift f1 control space and we're going to right click on our primal item and we're going to say give one that's using our blueprint path and then we're going to shift F1 if we popped it back in on accident. And we're going to open up our our output log. Right down here is what you, what the game used to get to spawn that in from your primal item structure blueprint. That's the blueprint path. So this is cheat, give item, the whole name of it. Then again, you want one you don't care about the quality and you want the item this false would be if there's any kind of um xp to be given i believe i believe that's what that is don't quote me on that one because i could be way off on that I've, I've only seen that a few times but what i do is i i highlight that and i hit Control c on my keyboard um and then you can go to anything um any other like text program and just Control v to paste it paste it in and also into the description on CurseForge. So one more time, we're going to try it with the other item. We have the vault. So the vault is primal item structure underscore vault underscore wall mount. 
So again, taking off the primal item structure, we can just, let's do this first. Let's do the blueprint path. Open up our output log and we can highlight it. And you don't really need the false. You can just give them to, to here, to the last zero. And you copy that. Right click to get back in here. And let's do cheat. Let's hit the tilde button. Hit cheat, GFI. Um, what did we say it was? I got to remember. Um, oh, geez. See, I forget. That's, that's what happens. So let's, oh, I didn't mean to, I hit the wrong button. I hit escape instead of tilt. I fat fingered it. They're right next to each other. <laughs> so, okay. So shift F1 and it says vault underscore wall mounts. That's what we're going to type. We're going to say cheat. GFI vault underscore wall mount. One word. One, zero, zero. And then if we did it correctly, it should show up on the left-hand side giving it to us. It did. We can open our inventory to verify that it's there. It is. We have one. We're good to go. So there it is. It's a quick video, very simple, that explains how to get the blueprint path and the GFI command for your items that you can give to your, your players so they can use admin commands or put your items in drops. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, please consider giving a like, subscribing, sharing with friends, all of the above. Leave a comment. Tell me how much you like it, how much you hated it, whatever. doesn't matter. Um, I just want to hear back. So if you can, do all those things. If not, then we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I've been Mr. Trickster. You've been awesome. See you next time.